Hey YouTube, Xfile2708 here and welcome to today's gameplay video and it's a request from uh, Aldrich1988 so thanks very much for your request matey, very much appreciated and as you can see guys it's um, the legendary Golden Axe on the Sega Mega Drive so let's uh, crack it on and uh, show you some gameplay Right, so we'll uh, check the options quickly. Right, so A is magic, B attack, C jump. And we'll go into the uh, the arcade version. Right. So there's the, the barbarian, the uh, elf, or the... Uh, I know the warrior princess, whatever. I'm sure they've all got specific names, but uh, I wasn't massively into this game when I was, uh, well, you know, when I was younger back in the day. So I'll, uh, I'll go with the elf. It looks as though he's got a nice uh, big axe to his name. Right, Death Adder invaded the castle and has taken the king and princess prisoners. My good friend Alex was killed in the battle to defeat them and to bring peace to the land is my duty. Right, and we're off. So C jumps, B strikes or attacks, and A does your magic, which at the top you can see there guys, you get three, um, three magic that uh, you can pick up as you're going along. For a game that was released, I think this was released in 1990. Um, for a, a beat 'em up or you know whatever style of game you want to describe it as, it does uh, it does play really well. Um, and as you go across where you get the the go with the arrow, that uh, reminds me of my favourite uh, favourite series of games, Streets of Rage. So, and I know uh, I know Ian Wilson is a big fan of. Um, of gold necks. So when, whenever I hear the music for this, I instantly think of uh, Ian Wilson's uh, Mega Drive channel. So right, let's get on that. Oh, yeah, buggers. Right, and we're off. Right, let's jump up here. These presumably just top your um, your magic up. There we go. We'll use some magic there. Inflict a bit of damage on our uh, enemies. Lovely. Oh, you bugger. Right. And there you go, and that's them taken care of. So here he is having a kip, and this little munchkin or whatever his name is, is uh, stealing my magic. So it's time to try and get them back. There you go, so I managed to get two of those back before he disappeared. Right, our sworn enemy Death Adder is in his castle. We'll take a shortcut through the turtle village. I love the way he just hits them on the top of the head with the um, with the bottom of his axe. 
be very nice if it was like Barbarian, where you actually decapitate them. That would be quite uh, quite a novel way of uh, getting rid of them. Oh, you buggers. You need a bit more practice getting the technique right for these ones that run at you. Kill the kids. <laughs> oh, you bugger. Bad breath. There you go. Must be a technique to stay on these things without uh, exposing yourself to the attacks. This is also a two-player game, guys, so uh, it would be very good to uh, to have this working with a second controller and uh, have two of you trying to compete against these enemies. Probably a lot of fun as well, bashing, bashing another opponent. Right, we'll have ourselves a continue, guys. Might as well fill the full 10 11 minutes if we can. Nope, oh, there we go, some skeleton. left is a, a charge in attack and right right obviously does the same in the opposite direction right so is this little shit to pinch our uh, magic again right come back here stage three so as I say guys we're getting up to uh, up to the 10 11 minute limit now so just to summarize absolutely fantastic don't know what you'd call it a platformer stroke beat em up um, graphically very good for its uh, for its age uh, as I say it was released back in 1990 and it, it really does look superb for a Mega Drive game um, music legendary and uh, really impressed with it again 
Um, so yeah, Top Game guys, if you've not got this, it's uh, it, it is it, it is a common title on the Mega Drive, you know, nice and easy to pick up. Um, so certainly you should be able to pick it up for around, probably between, you know, around the £6 mark, something like that, without uh, too many problems. Um, so from me guys, this gets an X-File rating of... 8 out of 10. There we go guys, so as always, thanks very much for watching, and I'll put up another video shortly. Bye for now.